All right, say you've lost your working file for whatever piece you got cooking, um, and you want to rebuild your PSD. So an easy trick you can do to rebuild it from a JPEG is go over to the Layers panel, go to the Channels tab, and click through the individual channels to find out which one has the closest in separation of values for what you're looking for. So say I just want to pull the shadows out of this. So I'm looking at this blue. So you're going to want to drag that down to this little plus icon, which duplicates it. And then you hit Command L to bring up your levels uh, adjustments. And then you can play with this until you can really pull it, separate it out. So the goal here is to make it just pure black and white. And whatever uh, is in one of these colors is what you're going to be able to save from this. So let's see. Let's see if I can get it, pull it to like that. So now I have it separated in just black and white. And I want that black. So I'm going to click this little dotted circle icon, which selects all the white. I'm going to inverse selection. Click back to the RGB so you have all of them. Now you can hit Command J to pull that selection up. So now if I make a new layer and I make it lighter, you can see I have all my shadow as just one layer now. And then again, we turn those off, we go back here and say I just want to separate, you know, most of what is silhouetted there uh, on the background. So I can do that, really pump up the white level, really push down the black. All right, that might be about as good as we can get on this piece. So again, we're going to click that little dotted icon. We're going to inverse selection. Now we're going to uh, pull that up off of there. So now we have it mostly separated from the background. Obviously, you need a little bit of cleaning up. Um, that's just the way this is going to work. Uh, but now, you know, we can lock down the transparency and say, I want to like repaint those shadows. Easy peasy, you know. I have it all on its own layer. It's easy. So this is a really easy way to like separate out anything that you've built that you no longer have the work file for. I use this a lot for photo bashing, but it's good for just pulling, you know, your own work apart if you run into this problem. You can also pull line arts off of flat images. Um, so it's a really helpful trick to know about, and I hope this kind of, you know, can help somebody. <laughs>